Match Color is designed to help you match one view of video or film to another. In other words, to transfer the appearance of a clip to be consistent with another so it looks as though it was shot with the same camera and used the same settings. Since shots rarely match on their own, even if they were shot at the same time and under the same conditions. In this tutorial, we will cover some of the basics within Rematch Color. Rematch Color works with images of different sizes and the images should be related in some way, like the same location shot with two different views or at different times. Let's take a look at a few examples to see how it works. For our first example, we have a sequence with two views. In this case, the source material was stereo, and we exaggerated the difference a bit, so the tutorial is easier to understand. Our first example applies to two locked-off cameras looking at the same action at every frame. The same action is happening in both shots, and the time is synchronized. In practice, they may have been shot at the same location with two different cameras, so they might be different resolutions, or maybe just the framing is different. Or we could simulate another issue that could have happened. Certain operations which affect an image, like adjusting gain or gamma. Maybe you brought one shot into another software package and then brought it back to your edit and the gamma had changed. What I'm trying to show you is that all these common issues can easily be fixed with rematch color. In Sony Vegas, there's a couple different workflows we can use. In this first method, we start by putting our reference clip on one track. Then I'll put a clip that needs the color fixed on the track above. I can shift select both clips and go to compositing mode by selecting the compositing icon. By default, it's on Source Alpha, but we're going to select Custom. Now we select Rematch Color, and we can go to the Effect Controls for Rematch Color. If you want to make sure the reference track is correct, we can go to Transfer Method and choose Show Image Used to Get Color. The plugin will get the color from the reference. This tool can do a global restoration of your footage to the original, even if it has a correction, because you're matching the reference. We can do this per shot, as I will demonstrate later, or overall. Imagine the hours this will save you and all the different applications it has. I'm getting the best results here from gain plus offset. I can also utilize some of the other options to further match these two views if I need to. I can choose between RGB and lab color space. Lab is useful when the color differences are more due to hue differences than luminance differences. Sometimes it's even useful to cascade this process two times, one in RGB, then another pass in lab. If I need further tweaking, I may adjust the blend amount. Here's the result. In this next example, we have a camera burst shoot. Unfortunately, because of incorrect automatic white balance, a color setting in the camera, only two frames have a warm look. That's what we want. What we'll do here is use one of the good frames and match the whole sequence to it. We'll use a slightly different method in this case so you can see a different workflow. Here, there is no second clip needed as a reference. The images we want are in the same sequence, so we'll add the clip to our timeline, select it, and right mouse click and select Video Event Effects and Rematch Color. We will match to a still frame in this case, so we go to the frame we like and we select it as still one reference. Let's make sure we're using absolute frames by going to the current frame number, right mouse clicking, and select Time Format Absolute Frames. Then we go to the Still Settings and choose Select to Set for Still 1, and enter the frame number for the frame to match. We can also just move the time needle to the frame and choose Select to Set, and just a gotcha here. Verify that it updates to the frame number that you're currently on. 
When you first apply the plugin, you need to advance to the next frame and back in the viewer controls, or by other means, move the time needle to Awake Vegas. Can I use media effects? What's the difference? It isn't a good idea because media effects uses global project time and rematch color uses local clip time. So if the clip doesn't start at zero, Vegas returns the global project time when you select the frame to match instead of the effects local time, which is what we need internally. Now we can look at the controls. We started with mean shift and it doesn't quite match the reference. We will try histogram 2 and in addition change to lab space. Because remember that tip I gave you earlier, the one about using lab space and being useful when the color difference is due to hue rather than luminance? Well this is a good example of that. So you can see now we have a match. Now let's take the same example and look at one more method if the scenario were slightly different. What if you have more than one clip on the track that you want to color correct to the same reference frame? Then you would choose Tools, Video, Video Track Effects and choose Rematch Color. In this case when we store a still frame number it will look at the timeline and return a frame relevant to the track instead of local to the clip as we saw in the last example. Again, you have to make sure it takes the frame number by moving the playhead once you've added rematch color. You can always manually add the frame number by typing it in to be sure it's right. You can also set the transfer method to show image to get color from to make sure it gets it from the right frame. If you don't want this color correction to apply to one of the clips on this track, you can always animate rematch color off during the clip by adding keyframes to the opacity control using the adjustment control and adding keyframes to blend so it's off or zero during the clip. Or you could animate the transfer method to none during the clip that you don't want any correction applied to. You have options. Now here's the caveat for that workflow I just showed you. It works great as long as you're not planning to edit your timeline at all where your reference clip is. If you happen to move that around in any way, Boom, your reference is now not where you told rematch color it was living, so now it doesn't know what to match. Let's see the workaround for that. We have these two clips on a timeline. To be clear, there is no rematch color yet in this method. We can save this Vegas file by going to File, Save, and let's call our Vegas project Intermediate. This is like creating a pre-comp or, or nesting in other applications. Now we go to File, Import, Media and find our intermediate file and bring it back into our project. Now we can add it to our project as a new track. We can add Media Effects Rematch Color. Note that we're using Media Effects this time because we have this intermediate pre-comp and we can now set the frame to match and now if we need to move this on the timeline or trim or edit the clip, the reference frame doesn't change even if we're referencing a frame that's currently hidden by an edit. In this next example we have six shots. The first thing to decide is which ones are properly captured. We decided that it was the six shot for wide shots and the four shot for close-ups. Next, we go to Tools, Video, Video Track Effects, and Rematch Color because the shots are separate but on the same track. We can save a still reference for our wide shot and one for our close-up and then just match to whichever reference works for each shot. We will need to animate between references though. Don't forget to sync the timeline so the animation timeline is lined up to our timeline. So for shot 3, I set a keyframe to match still 2 at the first frame for the shot. And for shot 5, I set a keyframe to match to still 1 at the first frame. You get the idea. Now let's say we want to match color to another view of this scene. 
Here are the two views. They were shot in a similar location, but they are two different scenes. We will use composite mode and rematch color since we have two tracks. If the color doesn't match with one of the transfer methods, we can use the windowing features. This way only the pixels within the window will be taken into account. So we can exclude some of the sky from one and some of the rocks from the other and make the footage match the reference a little better. The way we do this is to select window match. Then we can take the top point and move it down to exclude some of the sky. And to further refine, we can select show image used to get color from and go to source. This defines the region that we're matching to or getting the color from and pull its bottom up until it's under the water. Then we go back to our transfer method to see the result. So in one case there's a lot more blue sky and in the other case there's a lot more dark rocks. So the windows allow us to set a comparison base that's a lot more related, making the color match much more accurate. The bottom line is that there are many ways to get the result, so try out some of these methods and keep in mind that this is the basic usage for rematch color. One last note about project color space. You'll notice there are two floating point color spaces in Vegas. The standard mode is video levels, gamma encoded. For this, there's nothing special to do. It's the same as 8-bit. However, with full range, we might be in linear color space, which is normally used with a display color LUT while using, as the images will look very dark otherwise. The plugin needs to know that, so you'll see in the gamma space menu an option to delinearize the clip internally so we can perceptually match the inputs better.